Wish I could put something back in that treasure chest just to open it again. Kind of weird, but whatever. So I might have made it there, but that doesn't mean anything because I could still die in a random encounter. Or I might have messed up earlier, in which case I'm not even where I, in the ballpark. At least this time I know to go uh, left and up in the last room. If I make it to the last room, I don't think I can encounter the... Uh, ninja guys that can ruin my day, but, yeah, so if I'm anywhere at all, I'm in this, uh, the save point room here, which is, I really hope I'm in the save point room where I'm supposed to be. In the butt mini segment out of the way. Well, let's continue. I'm actually kind of glad I had one of those fails because I realized there's an audio dis desync. Hopefully that hasn't been going on for too long, but I can probably edit it into oblivion if it is actually relevant. One, two, three. This room starts off fairly easy, but it gets harder and harder, essentially, as I go along. Left and up. Gotta make sure to go fast, but not too fast, because if I go too fast, then I start to have my, one, two, inputs in the wrong spots, and they'll just barely not work out, and I'll be moving at, like, half the speed that I normally would be. Alright, grab that thing. All I have to say is, thank goodness it makes a noise when it gets to the top of the screen as well as the bottom. Alright. Left, down. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I think I made it. Down. Just take that one step this time around. No sense in being impatient. All the way to the left, all the way to the top. One down, just to get that out of the way. Before I have to make a dash for it. All the way to the left, all the way to the bottom. I don't make it quite out the door, even if I do it perfectly. But... That, that's good enough for me. Alright, things slow down in this segment for just a bit. All the way to the left. Well, it's one step, but... Still got a battle in that one step. Please don't kill me. I probably won't get another battle in this segment. So. Down. Just take one step to the right to get onto the bridge, and then I can go down here and then left to. Oh, uh, what? Let's just do this. I might have been able to run farther than one step over to the left when I uh, held the button there earlier by mistake. I was only supposed to take one step, I forgot. So right and long down three times should hopefully bring me to a decent spot. There we go. Now this room's a piece of cake because everything's pretty compact and pretty difficult to lose myself on such small platforms when I can make noises everywhere, so not a big deal at all. So now I'm gonna go get the Thunder Shield, which is part of the reason why I came down here. There's absolutely no disadvantage to doing this right now. All the hard parts are things that 
equipment barely changes at all, so... I mean, I might be able to bump up Celeste's M block by 10 or something, but that's about it. Gogo -Go will join at the level average plus two, so it's good to get him while the level average is six, but his le he'll only join at eight, which won't be enough right now to affect anyone else into joining a level higher. Alright. There's the door. Hello, Gogo. -Go. Reached you once by now. After this, Terra and Realm will definitely be my next targets because there's only one boss in the way of each of them. Well, I guess it's more in the way of Realm now that I think about it, but. <laughs> but. They should both be manageable to get, and they'll both join at level 6 to round out all the people who have to join when my level average is 6. Because Locke is level 7 because I quote unquote messed up the IAF sequence. Alright. One down, all the way to the right. That'll jump off through the shortcut the switch unlocks. I'll just double check that I am in the right place. Jump back across, all the way to the right. And then I can go back through this little room here. I have to remember to take one step left to enter the doorway. Otherwise I'm not getting in here. Up. Alright, now is where things get tricky again. And this is even worse than last time because I have to go longer distances in general. Up, right, one, two, three. Just pause there, line myself up with the treasure chest, go as far as I can. Alright, right and up. Go up. Alright, so let's just make sure I'm at the exact top right, because if I'm not, I can take a step down here when I want to, and then get crushed. Step one down. Okay, here's where I died last time. All the way to the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So far, so good. Just one step up here. Just give myself a break. Alright, gotta run now. Go up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it should be in front of the chest. One, two, three, four, five. That should be in front of the other chest. Right up. One. Short little break there. Go to the right. Go to the top. Hopefully I ran far enough right, because I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Alright, just go right and down a lot, and I shall probably make it. Alright, let's just make sure of where I am. Left, down. Okay. There's actually no encounters in this room. Uh, last one of Tanker Rider's challenges messed me up there. <laughs> so I'm safe now. Alright, on the save point, and I have a go-go in my party. I also have that nice fancy thunder shield that I can shove on go-go, I guess, to improve his block if nothing else. Here, have a man-eater and bard's hat. I'm not going to be able to make him survive anything, so... Yeah, I don't have any... Oh, I have another Zephyr cape, apparently. I must have gotten that in one of the chests this segment, because I certainly didn't have that before. Alright then, uh, one more part to do. Should be probably the easiest out of the three, but 
should be. Three times in a row the green people have been kind to me, but that doesn't mean anything if the coverts keep showing up and ruining my day. One, two... Halfway through my counting steps, but if it's not a covert still don't care. And if it's a covert, I still don't care because I'm dead. I'm not even sure if coverts can show up down here though. And if they can, they're probably a rare counter. But I'm probably gonna get a, another one in this room now, thanks to that. It's weird though, no matter I always seem to get an encounter between here and the bridge, and it's always like, well, it's always been coverts in the past, but apparently this time it wasn't, but it still showed up really early in this room, so. It's like the encounter rate in this room is jacked up through the roof in certain places, but. Hopefully this green guy doesn't knock me down, he hasn't done it yet, but... Okay, gotta walk five steps to the left to minimize my chances of him knocking me off. One, two, three, four, five. If only the Genji armor was down at the basement and the uh, ether was up here, then I could just skip this. Take two steps to the Genji armor. Oh, I got it. Let's fall back into this room to minimize my chances of dying to a covert encounter. Hopefully we'll get a battle before leaving this room. That's probably it. Wow, even Gogo's made it this far. What a surprise. And then I have to go around something here. I mean, you can even ignore the tr screen transition, it's just like walking around a block. Right. Up. Hopefully I don't get any encounters here. Because then I just make it straight out from that light up top. Warp would save me a little bit here, but... I should have brought warp stones to be honest. Bringing Edgar wouldn't be helpful, but. Left. Ding! Usually I'm glad to hear that noise because it's a safe point, but here it's the exit. <laughs> oh man, finally done Gogo's lair. That dungeon is just a pain in the butt. But, the, uh, the room with the ceiling, though, that was a lot of fun, but. The rest of it was irritatingly RNG-ish. See you next time. <laughs>